consider the set of all points in the complex plane such that the modulus of z is equal to the modulus of z plus 2 plus 2i. Question, we want to sketch the set of all these points and describe it explicitly as a subset of the xy plane. Now, recall our definition of modulus. If I have z equal to x plus i y, then the modulus is just going to be the distance from z to 0 in the complex plane. So, we take the modulus of z squared, we're just going to have x squared plus y squared. So I take the real part, the imaginary part, take their squares, and then we sum. Now, if I let z be equal to x plus i, y, okay, we have the equation for this side, okay, we're going to square it. So I want the equation of this side squared. Now, our recipe says, separate into the real and imaginary parts, take the squares, and then sum. So, we have x plus i, y, plus 2, plus 2i. So the real part's going to be x plus 2. The imaginary part is going to be y plus 2. So, I take the sum of the squares. Gives me x plus 2 squared, plus y plus 2 squared. Now, I can work with this. So, if I have modulus of z equal to this modulus, if I square both sides, we keep the equality. So I'll have x squared plus y squared equals x plus 2 squared plus y plus 2 squared. Now I can expand and simplify. When we simplify, okay, we'll have the equation of a line. y equals minus x minus 2. So the set of all points of the complex plane will be given by z equal to x plus minus x minus 2i where I let x range over all real numbers. Of course, we check our work. So we're going to take our original equation. We're going to substitute our new expression for z. So x plus minus x minus 2i. For the modulus of z squared, we get 2x squared plus 4x plus 4. For the modulus of z plus 2 plus 2i squared, okay, we work that out, we get the same thing. Since these squares are equal, because the modulus is always greater than or equal to zero, that means the moduli are equal. So that checks our work. If we check at a specific point, so say I let x be equal to minus two, then the y value is gonna be equal to zero. So that's just gonna give me the point minus two. We take the modulus of minus two, it's gonna be the same as the absolute value, so I just get two out. Take the modulus of, okay, so we're gonna put minus two in here. That'll leave me with the modulus of two i. And then that's equal to two also. So this checks. Now, let's interpret our equation. So we have a complex plane. So we'll represent points as z equal to x plus i y. So x is gonna to correspond to the x-axis, the real axis. The y corresponds to our imaginary axis. Now, set of points that we just found, okay, in terms of x and y, we're looking at the straight line, y equal to minus x minus 2. So we have slope minus 1 and y-intercept minus 2, so I draw it in. Now, to interpret, let's take a look at what we have. On the left-hand side of our equation, the modulus of z, that's just going to be the distance from z to 0. On the other side, okay, we're going to stick in a minus sign. This is just going to be the distance from z to the point minus 2, minus 2i. Two okay, in the xy plane, that would be the point minus 2, minus 2. Okay, to see this, if we just expand this out in terms of x and y, we get square root of x plus 2 squared plus y plus 2 squared and that's just the distance from the point x, y to the point minus 2, minus 2. So what our line is, we take the point at 0, the point at minus 2, minus 2i. Two then we consider all points that are at the same distance from each of these points. So if I take any point in this line, measure it at this point, measure it at this point, 
those two distances are always equal. 